Hello and welcome to Socky Tech. In today's video, we will take a look at the top 10 features for iOS 8 running on an iPad Air. Now the iOS 8 will be available for consumers this fall, but if you have an Apple developer account, you can go download the pre-release beta right now. And I will be posting new videos for every single beta update. So let's take a look at the new iOS 8 and go over some of the most prominent features. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel for full iOS 8 coverage to discover more tips, tricks and tutorials. You will also find a link in the description below to my full iOS 8 videos both on the iPhone and the iPad. Now as you can see there's not much different visually okay so iOS 8 looks just like iOS 7 but we do have some feature enhancements and additions that are worth looking at. So let's dive in. Alright so let's take a look at the messaging app and the enhancements that they added to the messaging app. So let's pull that up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to send myself a test message okay. So let me click send and get out of here and I'll get a notification. Okay, so with this notification what I can do is I can pull this down and simply respond right on the spot, click send and the notification disappears. Okay, so if I was inside an app and if the notification popped up, I could have simply taken care of the notification right over here without having to worry about getting out of here and going into um, the messaging app. Now the other thing I can do is I can pull down the notification center, okay, and this is the today screen. I can swipe over to notifications and also from here I can respond directly. Swipe to the left, you get two options. You can either mark as read or you can click reply and then you get the same interface that you did earlier. Okay, so let me resend myself another message. I'm gonna show you one last thing. Okay, so we got that. Let's uh, for forget about that for a second. Okay, so let's pull down the notification center again. Your message will show up in the notifications center and then this time you can swipe to the left and you can simply click mark as read and the message disappears. So if you do not want to respond to a message, but you just want to read it, you can do a mark as read. And of course, you can respond to messages right from the lock screen. So if you were in the lock screen, you could have simply pulled it down and responded to the message right over here. So anyway, let's go back in here to the messaging app. I'm going to show you some other things. So if you pull up the messaging app, you have the option to actually send a voice message to your friend, okay? What you want to do is you want to tap and hold this voice icon, test, test, test. And after you record your voice, what you can do is you can preview the voice by pressing play. If you do not like the voice, you can press this X button to delete it. And if you want to send it to your friend, you can press this up arrow and it will go directly to your friend. So let's uh, preview this. And if you like the preview, you want to send it to your friend. You tap this, it goes right over. And then they can press this play button to listen to the message. It's going to show up just like that guy right there. So you can send a voice message. You can also send a quick video clip if you wanted to. So all you do this time is you tap and hold the camera icon over here. So tap and hold. It brings up the camera and you can flip the camera this is right now the camera is looking that way okay if you tap this button it flips it over and now you're seeing yourself and then if you flip it again it looks the other way now what you do here is it's the same concept so you press that red button to start recording your video so let's do that now it's recording it it tells you how many minutes or seconds have elapsed once you're done, you press this to stop the video. You can preview the video by pressing the play button. You can click X to delete the video and reshoot it. Or you can simply press this up arrow and that will send the video over to your friend. So that's basically the enhancement that they added to the messaging app. So let's go back out here and let's look at the next feature. So if you dub double tap the home screen, 
normally what happens is the multitasking pane comes up and you get a preview of your currently running apps now on the top here you also get a list of your most recent and your favorite contents uh, contacts okay so if I wanna talk to any of these people I tap on their name from there I can send them a message I can do a FaceTime call and I can tap right on the uh, name to pull it back again so that is a new edition and you can swipe through your most recent contacts okay now the other thing I'm gonna talk about is the photos application so let me uh, take a quick uh, picture with the camera so let's just take a picture here and let's go back out and launch photos app now with the photos app you actually get the ability to edit your photos in a very nice way so when you tap edit what you get is that you get a little lamp icon at the t at the bottom here when you tap it it allows you to change the light and the color so if you tap on the light it's a little bar just go left or right and it changes the light settings of the picture that you just took so let's uh, increase the lightning here now the other thing is if you press this button over here this little list icon it gives you the details of what's happening in the background okay and you can actually individually change the brightness contrast exposure highlights and shadows so let's tap on highlights so now the highlights are going to be changeable you can't see the difference because we already played with the picture but uh, if you click this again you can go back to the light mode and then the next thing is you can click done saves the picture okay if you go back in edit press the lamp symbol and you can also do the same thing with the color so tap colors colorize it or you know turn it into grayscale so let's leave it colorful over here and again if you tap this icon right here gives you the contrast and vibrancy which make up the color option and if you tap any one of these you can change them individually okay so let's go back to color click done and your image is now saved with the uh, with the edits all right so the next thing I want to talk about is if you go out here and if you go back into the camera you have two new options now the first one is you get a timer okay so if you tap the timer you can choose from three seconds ten seconds or no timer so let's do three seconds and do a test shot okay so as you can see it did a countdown and then it took a picture okay now the other thing the other feature that they added to the camera app is the ability to take time-lapse videos so if I scroll up you get the video scroll one more time you get the time-lapse option now time-lapse videos are amazing things you can go and Google them and see what they are all about so now you get the chance to make time-lapse videos right on your iPad in iOS 8 alright so next let's take a look at the mail application so if you go inside the mail application you do have some enhancements here as well so let me pull up my um, inbox here okay for Saki tech is fine so here what you can do is you can now swipe to the left which you'll get three options now if you swipe all the way you either delete the message or archive the message based on your settings so let's do the uh, let's look at this menu okay so now you get three options you can do more you can do flag and you can archive or delete the uh, email just by swiping slightly to the left now if you swipe it all the way it just archives the email automatically the other thing you can do is you can swipe to the right and then you get that option where you can actually mark an email as red so if you tap that it's gonna mark that as red now you can also do mark as unread so if you swipe it again over here it gives you the option to mark as unread tap it and there you go and finally let me show you what they did with spotlight so if you pull it down like this you get the spotlight search in fact it says right there so in addition to searching your iPad spotlight now shows suggestions from the internet iTunes App Store movie show times locations and Wikipedia so if I type in Napoleon what it's gonna do is 
it is go it recognizes that Napoleon is an important name so it pulls his information right from Wikipedia if you tap on it you get a quick preview and then if you click see full article it launches the Safari web browser and takes you directly to Wikipedia so it is very context sensitive the new spotlight search all right now there was one more thing I wanted to show you in the mail application so if you'll relaunch the mail application and if you compose a new message you get that little pop-up now in iOS 7 this stays over here if you want to get out of here and go back to your mail application you have to cancel it by tapping this okay but now you can compose a new message and you can simply swipe this down so it sits right at the bottom while you can continue to browse through your messages okay and if you need to grab something from your email you can copy that then you can bring this right back up by tapping on it and you can paste it right in here alrighty and um, so that is very useful as well so swipe it down and then tap it to bring it right up make sure to subscribe to my channel for full iOS 8 coverage to discover more tips tricks and tutorials you will also find a link in the description below to my full iOS 8 videos both on the iPhone and the iPad